We start with breaking news this hour. A video has emerged apparently showing Syrian rebels firing an American-made anti-tank missile that hits a car carrying Russian journalists. Well, here you can see the moment when a Syrian rebel allegedly fires at the press convoy in Latakia, northwest Syria near the Turkish border. Our correspondent, Roman Kosrov, was in that car. The red line here on the screen shows Roman running for cover. He recounts what happened. Well, I've been receiving uh, not only words of uh, support, but also some, uh, well, some food for thought as well. And uh, I believe here's a video that was sent uh, to my Twitter account. It's uh, titled, uh, Jihadist launch so a journalist. The video shows uh, Syrian rebels that it's uh, firing an anti tank missile. And uh, the landscape is very, very reminiscent of the one where we came under fire from militants. And actually, you can see people running for cover in the distance, and I'm pretty sure that must have been us, and that person uh, running in the back, that must be me. And here you can see the sight from two different angles. Video on the left is the new one. Uh, we've zoomed right in, and on the right is what we filmed when we came under fire. And as you can see, it looks like the same house in uh, both videos. Now, going back to the start of the new video, a militant is launching a rocket from an anti-tank system. And it looks exactly like uh, an American-made uh, tow anti-tank missile. It has a range of uh, more than uh, four kilometers, and it was uh, covertly supplied to Syrian opposition forces since 2014. That information is available. As far as I know, uh, hundreds of tow systems have been spotted in the hands of uh, numerous uh, different rebel groups. Right after the attack, the Syrian army brought us uh, what they said was a launcher from the rocket that hit the media convoy. There was uh, 17 of us there. We we're all wearing uh, flag jackets. We're all clearly marked as uh, press. And it certainly looks as, uh, as if it could have been a part of a tow system. We asked military expert Charles Shoebridge for his take on the footage. He says there's enough evidence that the missile that hit the RT crew car was an American-made tool weapon system. I've seen three separate sets of evidence, if you like. One is the photograph of the uh, component part that was reportedly found close by. Uh, another is the piece of video that shows um, what appears to be a rebel firing a weapon system. Um, then, of course, there's the ally to that. There's an extra bit of video which shows uh, the weapon striking the ground. And then there's the video from the car of the journalists themselves, which uh, seems to show the strike. All of those um, are consistent with uh, the use and the near miss by um, a tow missile system on the ground. So from what the experts are seeing, the video of the American hid missile hit the press convoy. Such weapons were supplied by the U.S. to the so-called moderate opposition in Syria, something Washington confirmed. Everybody acknowledges that there were issues and challenges with respect to the training aspect uh, of some of these moderate opposition uh, fighters. But what has proven effective in the past, particularly in Syria, has been the equipping part of training and equipping. How do Syrian rebels get their hands on tow missiles? You know, we have, uh, I mean, there's any number of ways. I mean, first of all, we have supplied some of the Syrian uh, forces that are fighting ISIL in northern Syria. Um, we talked about that uh, before. Michael Malouf, a former security analyst to the U.S. Defense Secretary, told us about the most likely route of the missiles from manufacturer to militant. It's definitely a, a U.S.-made tow missile. CIA has been providing this weapon through Turkey 
to uh, various uh, fighting groups, which they've declared to be moderates and which is yet undefined, principally uh, Free Syrian Army. Uh, Turkmen's, and it's also financed by the Saudi by the Saudi Arabians. More toes have actually gone into uh, Syria to these so-called moderate groups, Sunni fighters, really, uh, ever ever since um, uh, Russia actually uh, began bombing. So the the amount of toes going in there have actually increased, and and the Saudis, of course, are are paying for a lot of it.